All right, can you tell we're having a party? With the holiday season near, you may be thinking about parties, but how do you throw one without going over budget? Event planner Wayne Gurnick is here now to uh, show us how to impress without spending a lot of money. So let's start in the beginning. What's the perfect size you envision for a party? Perfect size? Um, in terms it, of guest list. In terms of the guest list, if we're looking at someone's private home, we're probably looking at about 30 to 35 people is a nice size. Okay. So how do you get the invite out? Is it okay to email people? Well, more and more invites are going out on emails. Um, I still believe that it's important to send real cards, real well, nice invitations. Well, for a special time, like Absolutely. the holidays or something Absolutely. like that. You know, one thing that uh, I know when I'm trying to put together a party or something, the last thing I think about is flowers, and it should be one of the first things. What, have a theme or something like that? Absolutely. Um, themes are really nice. I think that it's important to include maybe a signature cocktail. It just depends on what you're doing for the evening. All right, let's start with the flowers, though. We're okay. going to get to the cocktail shortly. Okay. Trust me, we will. All right, so what's the theme of this party? So I've named this centerpiece the Tulip Garden. And what I've done here is some very simple things. I've shopped at Target for the mirrors. I shopped at um, go ahead. No, I want to. I want to say I'm going to move up here. The reason he says mirrors is because look Absolutely. what these are sitting on. These are mirrored trays. So mirrored trays. Put your candles on there and right. Okay. And I picked up these drinking glasses at Ross. They're 68 cents each. Those and are drinking glasses. They're absolutely drinking glasses. This one I've glued together. I've inverted one and set one on top and wrapped a little ribbon around it. So for 68 cents a glass, you have a beautiful candle piece. And tulips you can buy at the grocery store, right? Uh, yes, Trader Joe's is my favorite place okay. for uh, it's a grocery store. flowers, yeah. absolutely. All right, I love this one. I walked in, I reached up here and I reached down and said, what is this? It feels like a bath mat or a bathtub mat or something like that. Look at right. that. It's acrylic. And it's this beautiful color, this sort of rich blue. And what is it? It's actually a bath mat. It is a bath mat. It's, uh, uh, they come in a regular size for a bathtub or for a shower and $2 at Target. So that's a real good deal. And you cut it up. Cut it into pieces and used wow. it as a base for underneath our milk and cookies uh, with a twist centerpiece. Oh, so I've okay. taken milk bottles from Bed and Bath and spiraled some copper tubing around it. And again, flowers from Trader Joe's. Um, and oh, there this you have looks it. rich. I, I hate to say this. I'm going to copy both of these. Okay. Now let's move here. So this is what I call my picture-perfect centerpiece. And believe it or not, this centerpiece cost me $40 to make total. And it would retail for about $150. Mm -hmm. I found this beautiful, ornate frame at a garage sale. And then... These are actually candle pieces. The glass pieces that hold the flowers are candle pieces from Target. Wow. Um, flowers, again, from uh, Trader Joe's. And then, you know, takes about, this centerpiece would take about 15 to 20 minutes max to put together. Oh, and they're both, well, all three spectacular. Let's, I need to get in food and drink because okay. that's where the big part of the budget goes. Which is more important? Um, I think food is very important, but I also think that when you start off a celebration, it's important to start it off right, and I think it warms people up to each other if they don't necessarily know each other. Drinks are very important. So when you say a signature cocktail, what are you talking about here? So a signature cocktail, for example, if we were to do a celebration and this was our centerpiece, mm -hmm. I came up with a cocktail that's called the Burgundy Blast, and it's a um, little bit of... Uh, creme de cassis, and sparkling wine. And what I've done is I accent the edge of the glass with a little bit of raspberry sh sugar. sugar. And make sure so. you do alcohol and non-alcohol here. Exactly. Okay, food. If you want to wow people with food coming up during the holiday season and you're not much mm -hmm. of a cook or a chef, what do you suggest? Um, I think that it's great to start off with, an, it, again, it depends on the type of event that you're doing, but pizza slices for hors d'oeuvres. Um, are always nice. I think that you can do a bacon-wrapped um, hot dog. Boy, now People you're love talking bacon. in my Okay, <laughs> people love bacon. Um, and then for an entree, you know, a lot of times people want to serve a beef, 
A um, peppered strip steak is wonderful. Uh, for those that don't eat beef, um, just a pasta dish or a, something? A pasta dish can be very simple and wonderful. And will that break the bank? No, pasta will not break the bank at all. Okay. Not at all. Um, which one is your favorite, just out of curiosity? I happen to love the milk and cookies with a twist. And part of why I love it is that I did come up with a chocolate chip cookie martini that goes with it. So all so. you have to do is think about it and plan a little bit. Absolutely. Do you Absolutely. have a website where we can find any of your ideas and sort of... I do have a website. It's momentsbywayne.com. Okay. And uh, you can find out about all different types of cost-saving tips. And um, I also have uh, a system for wedding planning that's pretty incredible. It's um, a combination of do-it-yourself wedding planning and a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week wedding planning hotline. Good for you. So, All right. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank Appreciate you. it. My and, pleasure. Um, hopefully this will give you some ideas. It certainly did me.